If you want to know how to get Optifine in Minecraft 1.18.1, this is the video for you. Welcome back to The Breakdown. We're going to go over every single step of downloading, installing, and setting up Optifine for Minecraft 1.18.1. One thing we're not going to be doing, though, is showing you how to get shaders. So if you want to see how to get shaders, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we have a video coming out very, very soon on how to get shaders, and that'll show you how to get it. Also, I know a lot of you do come back to the channel time and time again to get Optifine in these tutorials when they do update and when Minecraft does update. So subscribe. Help us out. It really does mean a ton. Thank you very much for your support. So today we're going to go over every single step of getting Optifine and we're going to be walking through it all. Everything that you see in this article here, it's all going to be covered in depth in this video. But luckily, you can also go through the article in the description if you would like. First and foremost, we do have a more sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex to get your Minecraft server up and running. Apex allows us to do everything that we do here, making all these awesome tutorials for you all. And they have the best Minecraft servers out there. It is so simple and easy to start a Minecraft server with Apex. Whether you want to mod server, whether you want a vanilla server, whether you want a server with plugins on it, it can all be done at Apex Minecraft Hosting. From mod packs to amazing custom servers that have tons and tons of features, you can do anything you want at Apex. You can make a private server, a public server, it can all be done. We love and trust Apex so much that we all start our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, and again, thanks to them for sponsoring this video and making our videos possible. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and jump on into getting Optifine. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. Just click that show more button down there, and you will be able to see the second link down below, and it will take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for downloading Optifine, where you can go through it at your own pace if you want, or once you're here, just click on this green download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Once you're here, you want to make sure you're under Minecraft 1.18.1, and then you want to do one of two things. If it's like it is right now, and there's only preview versions, click on preview versions, and there is Optifine. However, if there is another version under preview versions, you want to click that. For example, on 1.18, you have this one listed here. If that was the same for 1.18.1, you would click mirror next to this one. However, that's not the case for 1.18.1 right now, so what you want to do is click on Preview Versions and then click on the Mirror link here. Always click on the Mirror link next to the version under 1.18.1. When you do that, it's going to take you to the kind of separate download page for that particular version, and then click on the blue-purple download button here to begin the download in the bottom left. Now, for me, it downloaded automatically, but you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, so click Keep in the bottom left of Google Chrome or Save in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. I promise it's 100% safe to do so as long as you're following this guide. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to get Optifine to our desktop, just because that makes things easier. To do that, click the little Windows icon, it's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Downloads, you have this Downloads file folder here, open that, and then in here you'll find Optifine. Yours may not have preview at the beginning, which means you downloaded a non-beta version, meaning it'll have less bugs. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and drag this to the desktop. Once it's here, your Java logo may be different than mine, it may be a Windows Explorer file even, it may be a WinRAR looking file, it might be a zip file looking thing. Any of those, that is okay, but just keep watching. We're going to solve that in a minute. First off, let's see if you can open this. To do that, go ahead and right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and then click OK. If that all worked, it should open up Optifine. But if you have Java and it didn't work, that's because Minecraft and Minecraft Mods now require Java 17. And luckily, we have an in-depth guide in the description down below on how to download and install Java 17 for Minecraft Mods and Servers. So Optifine being a Minecraft Mod needs this version of Java. You can go through the video tutorial or, of course, go through the text. It's up to you, and you'll be able to finally open up Optifine. Now, for most of you, that should fix any issues on being able to open up Optifine, but sometimes your logos can still be weird, your files will look different from mine, things like that. And if that's the case, you can run the jar fix. And this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, and can allow Optifine to finally be opened. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now, to install Optifine, all you've got to do is click on this install button here, and it will work unless we'll come up and say this after you've clicked install, wait like, you know, 5-10 seconds, and it will come up and say Optifine successfully installed. If it doesn't, it's because you need to play Minecraft 1.18. Dot one. And it's that specific version. If you've never played 1.18.1, but let's say you've played 1.18, it won't work. You need to go play latest release 1.18.1. Just open it to the Minecraft main menu, come back, open up Optifine, click install, and boom, there you go. It'll come up and say Optifine successfully installed. At this point, we can go ahead and click OK. It will close out of that, and we can open up the Minecraft launcher. In the Minecraft launcher here, you will have, an, or you most likely will have, an Optifine 
profile ready to be played, right? An Optifine installation ready to be played. And right here it is for us, right? There's the Optifine installation. If it's not there right away, go ahead and click this little arrow and select it. Now, as long as it says 1.18.1 Optifine, you're going to click play and then click play again. It will open up without any problems. You have Optifine. But for some of you, you won't have Optifine at that point because you won't have this here or it'll be the wrong version. It will be 1.18.1. In that case, you want to click on installations up here at the top and then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, uncheck modded, Optifine disappears. Check modded, it reappears. Click play you're good to go. However, if you still are having issues, you either don't have this or it is the wrong version, click new installation. Then you want to name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible 1.18.1 Minecraft server. We're actually going to be joining it here and testing Optifine later in the video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here and we want to select release 1.18.1 Optifine. Once we've clicked on that, it's going to be selected. We're good to go. Now mine's right up here at the top. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine's right here at the top. That's the most important thing you can do here. Make sure that's selected under version. I'm then going to change the resolution. You don't have to do that, but I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. And now we have this Optifine version played at breakdowncraft.com. And most importantly, it is for the 1.18.1 version of Optifine. That's the most important part. Hover over that, click the green play button, click you understand that you're playing modded Minecraft. You don't have to click that by the way, but once you click it, you never have to click, go through the screen again, and then click the green play button again. Then Minecraft 1.18.1 is going to open up with Optifine. It's that simple, that quick, and that easy. Now, if you do want shaders or something like that, be sure to check out the eye at the top of your screen, as well as the video at the end of this one, and subscribe to the channel because we post a video on how to get shaders with every Minecraft version. We also post a video on how to optimize Minecraft. So Optifine's really, really good because it not only allows you to make Minecraft look better with shaders and more graphics features and things like that, it also allows you to install and make Make Minecraft run better, right? So if you have a bad computer, Optifine helps. If you have a really good computer, Optifine helps make Minecraft look better. It's really versatile. One of my favorite things about Optifine actually is that. Nevertheless though, we can go ahead and click options and then we can go into video settings and in the bottom left we can see our Optifine version. Awesome. You can also see all of the beautiful settings here that you can now change and adjust with Optifine. We can also jump in game. I just like to jump in game because it shows you it's working. Also, may have shaders selected. I don't know. We're going to see. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. We do have shaders. This is going to be the BSL shaders pack. And we are on Breakdown Craft, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Currently on Skyblock. We can jump over to Medieval Survival here as well. Look at that. I love shaders. It looks so flipping good. Hey, you can see my shadow. Huh. Does that mean it's going to be six more months of winter? Is that how that works? Anyway, nevertheless, as you can tell, we definitely have Optifine installed with these beautiful shaders. And if you want to learn how to get shaders exactly like this, be sure again to check out the video that is on your screen now, as well as at the eye at the top of your screen. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more incredible content exactly like this. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Come play with us on this amazing Minecraft server. Play at our breakdowncraft.com. Again, we're currently on Medieval Survival. This has quests and all sorts of awesome stuff. We've got Aquatic Survival, which is more of a raw survival experience. Hello. <laughs> Does not being, know they're being featured in a video right now. Had more of, more of a raw survival experience. And then we do have custom skyblock as well. So come play with us. Play our breakdowncraft.com as the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nick and I am out. Peace.